Hello everybody. Happy summer solstice. I'm doing this on Sunday morning, Sunday the 21st. It was the solstice yesterday this year, the 20th of June. And I've had a slight change to my plans because of that. So I've been focusing on the chakras and I had another lesson about the chakras today, but I'm putting that forward until next week and I thought we'd have a summer solstice practice. So solstice means sun pausing, sun standing still. It's from solistitum, solistitum in the Latin, I've remembered it, solistitum in the Latin, sun pausing, sun standing still. And I think sometimes you know we need to pause and stand still why don't we just take a pause now? Um, we're halfway through the year and it's been a pretty weird year, hasn't it? But take time to think how far you've come in the last six months. Acknowledge how far you've come, what you've achieved, the lessons you've learnt. And give thank you for your blessings, all the good stuff. So let's take a couple of minutes just to pause and think about that. So thinking about what I've achieved, I've learnt to cut hair, which is a good thing. And I've mastered the, Zoom, the um, yoga videos in Zoom and my computer a bit more. And now forward to the next six months as we're halfway through the year. What would you like to achieve? What do you need for you? Where do you want to go from here? And if you can't think six months ahead, just a month or three months, take time to think where you want to go from here. When you thought, and still take your time please, there's no rush, when you have thought, make yourself that promise, set an intention, a resolve, it's sometimes called a sankalpa in yoga. And when you've set your intention, your promise to yourself, gradually bring yourself back into the room. Start with a couple of breaths here. Just imagine you've got a big ball of energy in your tummy, holding that big ball of energy. And you're going to breathe in and draw that energy all the way up to the top of the chest. Pause. Breathe up. Push the energy down. Draw your navel to your spine. Breathe in, spread the energy around. Give yourself growing tall. And breathe out, give it back to the earth. Let's do two more. 
and gathering the energy up, breathing right up into the top of the lungs, into the collarbone area between the shoulders and pause. Nice, long, slow, complete out breath, navel to spine, pause. Inhale, fill the expansion through the ribs to the sides and the back, as well as the front. Exhale completely, long and slow, draw your navel in. So just one more, breathing in a bit deeper now. Right up between the shoulders and pause. Breathing out completely long and slow. Breathing in fully, spreading the energy around. And exhale, allowing yourself to soften, to relax back into the earth, shoulders soft, eyes soft. And we're going to warm up with a little sun greeting. Going fairly gently today um, for a lot of this practice. I think the summer's energy can be quite hot and quite fiery and quite intense. It's what I call a mas what we call a masculine energy. So we need to introduce a bit of the cool and more feminine energy into our practice. So we'll do some gentle sun salutes and then we'll balance, balance them balance those up with some cooling moon greetings. So we've got the balance of the sun and the moon. And actually Hatha, as in Hatha yoga, means the sun and moon. And yoga means to yoke, to join, to unite. So it's always a balance of opposites, complementary opposites. And we can't have one without the other really, can we? We need that balance. And trying to bring that into the practice. So come and kneel at the back of your mat. And if low knee is not good for your knees, don't worry, we're not really staying here, we're moving. You can always start with a high kneel. Take your hands to your heart. Breathe in. Breathe out. Namaste to greet your practice. Breathe in into your sun greeting. Lift your heart. Exhale, reach forward. So you get this lovely stretch from the fingers up the arms, the shoulders, relax your forehead. Inhale, draw the chest through, look up. Exhale, tuck the toes under, lift the knees, and this might be your first down dog. Let's move in this. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, ease the heels towards the mat, stretch out the calves. Coming again, lift the heels. On the exhale, think about taking the heels towards the back wall and then down. So it's a nice stretch through the back of the leg. And one more, lifting even higher. And when you come down, just make sure you're pressing down with your hands and then your tailbone might lift higher. Come onto your knees, look up, front of the feet on the mat. Take it back, exhale. Inhale to kneeling. Hands meet in the greeting. And we'll come again, we'll do another four of these. Get a nice Flow with your practice, just lifting your heart, the solar plexus to the sun, and reach forward. This lovely stretch all the way through the sides of the body, soften the forehead. Inhale, chest comes through, tuck the toes under, lift the knees, look at your thighs, and lifting the heels. Exhale, heels down, stretch out the calves, push down with the balls of the feet. Lifting even higher, and as you come down, press your hands down, lift your sitting bones higher, and one more, and exhale completely, keep the neck long and relaxed, onto your knees, draw the chest through, look up, take it back, exhale completely, well done, come to kneeling. Hands meet at the heart. Let's come again. So use the breath. Remember, it's the very essence of your asana practice. And reach forward. Exhale completely. Breathing in. Breathing out, down dog. And up you come. When you come down, see if you can lift the toes up and spread them out. Stretch out the back of the leg. 
and breathing in, coming to that big upside down V. As you come down, draw the ribs towards the thighs. Good, lovely. And one more. That's it, you're getting there. Stretching out the legs, stretching out our spine. Onto your knees, draw the chest through. Exhale completely. Prayer hands. And again, so remembering to use the breath. If you know Ujjaya breath, that soft, throaty breath, that warming breath there. Throat slightly constricted, come into down dog. And you can rise up one, heels down, push down through the balls of the feet. And again, lift even higher. As you come down, draw your tummy in. That's going to give you a, a little bit more support. And exhale, keep the neck relaxed. Coming down, chest draws through. Take it back. Exhale completely to kneeling, to a greeting. Gosh, that's the thing about wearing lipstick. Your hair gets stuck to your lips. I could have to tie it back. It's just at that length where it doesn't tie back very well. So one more. The in-breath. See if you can do more of a back bend. Just imagine there's a hand behind your shoulders and you can take it back even more and reach. You can be on the fingertips. Draw the chest through. Down dog. Last one here. So let's do some nice rises here and exhale down. And lift it, keep the knees soft. Push down with the balls of the feet as you come down. Lift up under the armpits. And one more. Well done. It's getting easier, isn't it? Coming down, and this is different. Look up. Take it back. Let's just take a nice rest in Balasana, the child. Relax. So you're staying in child resting. Soften your forehead, soften your low back, feel the support of the earth, feel grounded. The summer's energy can sometimes be quite intense. We can often feel quite excitable. We can feel creative, which is brilliant. But sometimes we need to ground ourselves and come down to earth more. I mean, if you think of a tree, their roots spread into the earth, they're really grounded because a tree is always moving. It grows up towards the light, towards the sun. It moves in the breeze. It's never still, but because it's got that firm foundation, it can grow, it can move from there. So we need to have that in our practice. So be grateful for the support of the earth. And we try to have a balanced practice today. You know, like I said before, we need that balance. Everything is, a, you know, a balance in life. And our, our practice needs to be a balance as well. A balance between the sun and the moon, yin and yang, male and female. So a few more breaths there. Let the earth hold you, support you. And know that when you follow the breath and you feel supported by the earth, that's a very basic foundation for your practice and then come up slowly to kneeling and let's take the hands forward and come into a, a squat and if that's not for you please just stay seated i'm going to do a little stretch through the sides of the body a little twist from here so i um, might come around to face you here do it from seated if, if this isn't good for your knees so my heels come off and i'm quite fine with it i can balance but if it's difficult for you put a block or a a blanket or something under your heels or they might your feet might be flat on the floor anyway let's take a few breaths there just feel that you've got a, a weight attached to your tailbone pulling you down shoulders are soft we'll take a few breaths very good posture for your digestion keep yourself balanced maybe draw up your root lock muller banda engage your tummy muscles a couple more breaths so let's take your left hand down and just wedge it. I'm mirroring you, as you know, probably. Um, 
wedge your left arm against your left inner leg. Take your right hand to your knee or your thigh and start to be nosy what's behind you, the behind you. And think of your tummy coming a little bit further around, your ribs, your chest, your shoulder, and then you can open up into a lovely open twist to your right. A few breaths there. Breathe well. That's it. As you breathe in, feel that length all the way from your root, the tailbone to the crown of the head. And as you breathe out, come around a bit more. And feel the expansion you're making, the space you're making between the ribs. A couple more breaths. Breathing in completely and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out a bit more. Well done. Come to the centre. Take your right hand out to support you. Take a little look over to the left here and get that twist before you start. Your tummy, your ribs, your chest, your shoulder. That's lovely. Keep lengthening from your tail. And then you can open. So you can breathe in and you can really feel yourself lengthening from the tailbone up the spine to the crown of the head. And as you breathe out, you soften. Your tummy draws in. See if you can get around a wee bit more here. Breathe into the left lung. Feel the left ribs expanding. Enjoy the space you're making. A couple more breaths. And breathing in completely. And breathing out. And breathing in. And breathing out. Well done. So we're going to come up to a forward bend. So if you've been seated doing this, just join me in forward bend. And hang there a moment. Think about your forward bend for the future. Just remember you always hinge from the hips. Your sit bones lift. And your spine is lovely and free. No effort. And your neck's long. And we're going to slowly come up as if you're pulling a big pair of socks all the way up from the tips of the toes to the top of the thighs. Extra long socks. And come and stand at the front of your mat. And do a moon greeting to balance up our sun greetings. So your feet are hip width apart. Take your hands to your heart. I'll stand to face you and I shall keep moving round so you can see me. But you stay where you are at the front of your mat. Hands to a prayer. Lift your toes up. Spread your toes out. Feel the earth beneath you. And we're going to draw a big full moon up to the sky. You can't see my hands, but don't worry, just listen to me. Take prayer hands and take them to the crown, the brow, the throat, the heart. Well done. And up you come again, a big full moon. So listen to me because you can't see my hands. My left hand grabs my right wrist and I come over to the left. So stretch through the right side. Half moon shape through the right side. Push down with the feet, especially the right foot, and lengthen out the waist and feel the space you're making and soften the shoulders, square the shoulders off. That's lovely. Breathe well into the right ribs. Well done. Let's reach up, take the other wrist and over you come. We stretch through the left side, push down with the left foot. Lengthen out the waist. Lovely half moon shape through the left side. See if you can come over a little bit deeper, but keep the leg through the underside of the body as well. Couple more breaths. Up you come. Big circle down, all the way down into your forward bend. Well done. I'm just coming to the front. You look up length in the spine, so you're in Ardha Uttanasana, half forward bend. Hinge forward from the hips. Come up on fingertips, Ardha Uttanasana, half forward bend. You're going to keep the knees soft and step your right foot back. Knee on the front of the foot on the mat if you can, or toes tucked under. Just check your posture. Oh, a bit wobbly today. <laughs> Push down through your thighs, firm up your tummy, roll the shoulders back. Come up and make that lovely crescent moon shape. So you can have the hands together or not, it's up to you. Draw the front knee forward and lift your heart. 
So see if you can sort of turn your pinky fingers round towards the front a bit and then you'll feel the shoulder blade sliding down a bit more. Nice deep breaths into the space of the heart. Lengthen through the sides of the body. Just imagine there's a hand between your shoulders and you can let go. You can look up if you like, but lift the eyes, keep the neck long. Breathe well. Feel crescent moon. Take your prayer hands, the crown, the brow, the throat, the heart. Reach forward, hand each side of the front foot, tuck the back toes under, forward bend again. Look up nice long spine. Exhale, hinge from the hips. Keep the knees soft. Up you come, draw a big full moon. Prayer hands, crown, brow, throat, heart. And we come again, the other side. Big full moon. We'll reach the sky. Right hand grabs left wrist. Let's stretch through the left side. So push down with your left foot. Lengthen out the waist. And sort of make that lovely sort of half moon shape through the side of the body. That's it. Push the left, left about to the side a bit more to make more curve. Lengthen out the waist on the right side. Don't collapse on the right side. Couple more breaths. So you're really making space between the ribs. That's what we need to do. We can be quite tight and stuck between our ribs. Reach up and let's come the other way. Breathe well. Keep the shoulders soft. Tuck your tail under. Well done, big stretch up, open your wings, hinge from the hips, look up, you're going to step back with the left leg, take the knee down, I find the front of the foot helps me, it protects my knee but if you're wobbly you can always keep the toes tucked under, press your hands down into your thigh, Lengthen your tail, feel a nice stretch through the left front thigh, lift your heart. So we get that lovely crescent moon shape through our back and then lengthen but keep the shoulders down. So you can turn the pinky fingers round a little bit towards the front, slide the shoulder blades down the back. We can take prayer hands or the mudra, whatever you need to do. Lengthen your tail, lift your pubic bone up, but draw your lower rib down like there's a magnetic force between the two. And just lean back against that imaginary hand and relax with the breath. Think about breathing in energy and spreading that energy all the way through you to revitalise you, recharge you, keep you going through your day. See if you can sink a wee bit lower. This is such a lovely posture, it does so much, stretches out the legs. It's a really heart opening, shoulder opening posture. So again, prayer hands to the crown, the brow, the throat, the heart. This time it's different. Tuck the back toes under. Let's take five nice restorative breaths in down dog. So it's the first time we've really held down dog in this practice. If you still want to walk on the spot, do. Otherwise, if you're holding it, just marinate there and enjoy the stretch. Maybe engage Malabandra if you've got a stronger practice, your root lock, lengthen your neck. And especially push your hands down into the mat, the index finger and the thumb, so you don't lift up the outer edges of your hand. Breathe well. Lift up under the armpits. And you've got this lovely stretch from the fingertips up the arms, the shoulders, the shoulders back to your sit bones. Sometimes called the mountain posture, and you can see why. Like the tree, we've got this firm foundation, and when we can lengthen and grow from there, well done. Just come into a forward child a moment and stretch it out. Feel the length through the sides of the body, soften the forehead. Now you're coming up to kneeling. I'm going to come all the way up into a moon greeting. 
lift your heart, take a couple of breaths there. So a little back then, push the thighs forward, legs and the tail. Roll the shoulders back. Good. Prayer hands. Crown, brow, throat, heart. And just take a moment to give love and thanks for the beautiful earth, for Mother Nature, and all the beings we share this one earth with, this one life. Love and thanks for that. Come down, have a little look, because this is different. It's child, but I've got prayer hands. Elbows down, hands to the back of my neck, relax. So you stay there for a few breaths, otherwise just coming into child. Relax, feel the earth holding you, feel grounded, feel supported by the earth. Relax your low back, relax your forehead. Letting go. So sometimes as we move, sometimes as we move on into the new, life is about letting go of the past. It can be quite difficult, can't it, to let go of certain things. There's something called the full moon promise and it goes, I release, I release the need for those things in my life that are not serving my purpose, a higher self. I release the need for those things in my life that are not serving my purpose, a higher self. I'm not afraid to let go. I'm not afraid to let go. And in their place, I receive love, joy and abundance. In their place, I receive love, joy and abundance. So from here, we're going to very slowly come up, come up slowly from a forward bend, well done. Big stretch up into your back bend again, reach forward and swing through carefully into your up dog. So just glide through, watch your back, draw the chest through, lengthen your neck, relax your low back, keep your tummy firm, stay lower if this is better for you, all right? Couple of breaths there. Breathe in, push the chest through. Breathe out, lengthen the spine, lengthen your tail, firm your tummy up. Roll the shoulders back. Couple more breaths, breathing in completely and breathing out. One more, breathing in slowly, breathing out slowly. So if you can flick your toes over and come into down dog do, I'll do it the gentler way. Most people will come onto their knees, tuck the toes under, five more restorative breaths in down do, down dog. Adha Makha Shavasana, down dog. Draw your ribs towards your thighs, lengthen your neck. Think about pushing down through the balls of the feet and stretching the toes out. Keep your knees soft, but drop through your thighs. So you can tuck the chin in and you can do a few nice ujjayi breaths here. Good and stimulating for your throat. Start to walk on the spot. And slowly, slowly walk your feet to the back of your wrists. Fingertips by the toes, hands on the shins, look up, fold deeper, come up and draw your big full moon, take your hands to a prayer, take a moment of stillness and relax. Good. So come and face the front of your mat now, sideways on like I'm doing. Just take your feet a little bit apart like this. Take your hands to your tummy, connect to your solar plexus around your navel, 
quite a powerful place, this. And visualise your inner sun. Visualise your own inner sun here. And around your solar plexus, just imagine this sun. Imagine this sun radiating energy and light behind your navel. Your inner sun. And as you imagine it, imagine feeling warmth here behind the navel. Imagine light behind your navel. When you next breathe in, visualize the sun expanding and brightening behind your navel. Breathing in, expanding and brightening. And breathing out, sending energy all the way through you. And on the next in breath, we'll open up into sunbursts and take a few breaths there. Breathing in, the sun expanding and brightening behind your navel. Breathing out, sending energy all the way through you. Breathing into the belly here. Breathing in, charging up. Breathing out, it's expanding. You can lift your heart towards the sun. You can lift your gaze. Breathing in sunshine energy. Breathing out is expanding it all the way through you to recharge you, revitalize you and nourish you throughout your day. Two more breaths. Breathing in, charging up, breathing out, expanding. Relax your arms, relax your shoulders a moment. Turn your left foot. So the heel comes in, toes come out, right foot out. Bend the right knee, sweep the left arm all the way around. We'll come and reverse our warrior. I'll call it some warrior today. You can look down, you can look up, it doesn't matter. See if you can open up through the right side of the body even more. Push down with the right foot, use it as a break. Push down with the outer edge of the left foot, keep the left knee soft. Reach your left arm up, wrap it round so you can make a little bit more space through the side of the body here. Breathe well. Be your grounded, spread your toes out, keep your knees soft, but drop through your left thigh, straighten the right leg, come back even more, and you know where we're coming. We reach towards the front. You've got a lovely length from the left hip to the right fingers. The right hand can come on the shin now or further down or on the knee. Just see if you can open up even more. Roll the shoulder back, roll the top shoulder back, that's it. Roll that left shoulder back, tuck the left tail under. So if you're against a wall, you'd be lovely and flat. Your knees are soft, you're drawing up through your thighs. Some might even hold the toe, but some might be up here. It doesn't really matter. It's just about getting that shape and it comes with practice. Keep opening up, lifting your heart, breathing well. And then we can lift up, we can open if you want to. Nice deep breath. So you lengthen the spine and as you breathe out, you turn around a bit more. So it's a bit of a twist, really. I'm always doing trichinastha because it's one of my favourite ones. It's so energising. Sometimes you can flag a little bit this time of year in the summer. All through, in fact, all through the year, it's a wonderful one to do. Just imagine your arms are stretching from your heart centre. You want those shoulders to feel icky. Couple more breaths. I always feel my spine sort of clicking a bit and I just love it. So good for readjusting, rebalancing. So our next posture is heart is um, half moon balance. And I didn't say this, so you may have to stop. I'm going to have to show you. <laughs> Just stop a minute, I'll show you. You may have to stop and you may have to get yourself a brick. Half moon balance. Let me demonstrate. So say I'm in Trikonasana again. I'll just do it a moment while you watch. I've did Trikonasana again. 
I'm going to swing the hand down. I'm going to come into little standing splits. Okay. That might be enough. Let's take a few breaths there. This might be how, how you want to be, how you want to balance. Okay. Some of you will then externally rotate that top left hip. So the inner foot faces the floor. And that will still be, might be quite enough. Some of you may need to put your hand on that brick. And if you want to go further, you take your left hand on your left hip and you, you take the shoulder back and you firm up your tummy. <laughs> okay, so I'm just sort of trying to square my shoulders on top of each other. I may not manage to do that. I might want to stay like that and I might want to still look down. I might want to lift the arm up and look up, you see. Take some nice deep breaths there. And that's Ardha Chandrasana, the crescent moon. Okay. If you've got a wall, I know what I can do here. I don't want to pull the bookcase down. <laughs> but if you've got a wall, might do it against a wall. You can't see me very well, can you? <laughs> Some of you, it's even worse. Some of you have done this with me. In class, haven't you? Find somewhere so you can see me. Bear with me. <laughs> That's it. It's all good making these home videos. We haven't got all the benefit of the stuff the professionals would have in a studio, have we? You could, you've got an idea. You can see most of me. I could, you could always practice up against a wall. That's a really good one, actually, because <laughs> it, it gives you a, a lot more confidence, doesn't it? So. Decide what you want to do, okay? Either find a wall, have a little practice, or have a rest. Or if you're going to do it with me here, we can come back into Trikonasana. Bend the right knee, swing over, turn the left toes to the front, and find your standing splits. And this might be enough, just a little balance today. It might be all you want to do. If you want to come further, you can take your right hand to the brick or the earth. And then start to externally rotate your hip so your inner foot faces the floor. And you might be able to put your hand on your hip there. I'm just trying to lift my chest and stack my shoulders. That might be enough. Then you might be able to reach your arm. And don't worry if it's a wobbly day, it doesn't matter. Reach higher, sometimes that keeps you more balanced. And then you might be able to look up. That's the dodgy one, isn't it? Just keep smiling. Breathe well. Keep that standing knee soft. Four. Tummy nice and firm. So you've got this lovely length from the outside of the foot up to the hip, to the shoulder, to the crown of the head. Very strength through your legs. Let's take a couple more breaths. Breathing in and out. And in and out. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Let's take our standing splits again. So you're going to bend the front knee, take that left foot down, and we're going to turn. We're going to turn to the front, all right? Heels in, toes out, hands in the middle. Take a moment to adjust. So just check your knees are going to be over your ankles as you bend the right knee and you listen to the earth. Listen to the earth, okay? Let's come to the left and listen to the earth. Let's come again and hold it for a few breaths. Listen to the air. That's it. Breathe well. Push your feet into the mat. Feel that lovely stretch through your legs there. Especially that left inner thigh. Feel the connection to the earth. And one more breath. Breathing in and out. Bend the left knee so it's over the ankle. And listen to the air. See if you can sink a little bit deeper. Feeling a stretch through the right thigh. Allowing yourself to soften. Breathing in slowly. Breathing out slowly. Breathing in soft and deep. Breathing out softly. Well done. That's brilliant. Bend the knees forward, bends. 
Just take your hands on your hips and come up really, really slowly with care. And we're nearly ready for the other side. So we're going to walk my feet in a bit. Just connect to that inner sun again. Feel the breath in the belly, the breath in the solar plexus. Imagine your own inner sun behind the navel. Expanding there and spreading light and warmth. Visualise light there. Visualise a feeling of warmth. As you breathe in, visualise the sun expanding and brightening. And breathing out, spreading energy all the way through you. Breathing and expanding and brightening. Breathing out, spreading energy all the way through you. As you come into sunburst, five breaths. Breathing in, charging up, breathing out, expanding. Lift your heart, lift your solar plexus. You can look up if you like. Breathing in, sun expanding. Breathing out, spreading energy all the way through you. And then very gently relax the arms down, soften the shoulders. And we turn the other way, the left foot towards the front, the right foot comes in a little bit, okay? Bend the knee, push your feet into the mat, keep that right knee soft, drop through the side, keep the belly firm. Reverse your warrior, the sun warrior. Look down, breathe well. As you push down with the front left foot, feel the space through the ribs. If your back starts to ache a bit, you can always just take your hand and you can push down a little bit there. Don't lose the leg through the right side of the body. You can wrap the right arm around. See if you can tickle the left inner thigh. Well, it's just a direction. It's quite a long way to go, isn't it? Just check the knee stays over the ankle. Breathe well. Keep your breath breathing in slow. Breathing out slow. Following the mantra. Breathing in soft and deep. Breathing out softly. Straight the front leg, come back even more. Reach. And placing your hand wherever. Let's just draw the shoulder back, the right shoulder back, the right hip back. Tuck your left buttock under. And then find the length through both sides of the body. Don't collapse in the underside. Spread your toes out, make a good foundation. And then we can twist a little bit. So we breathe in, we lengthen the spine. As we breathe out, we start to rotate. You lift your heart, your ribs, you soften the shoulder, you soften the knees. And then if it's right for you and your shoulders are all right, trikonasana. Follow the breath, breathing in slowly, breathing out slowly. You don't have to look up, everything's optional. Keep the knees soft, draw up through the thighs. One more breath, breathing in and out. I'm going to find, find your brick if you need it. You used it last time. First of all, oh, I heard it's a wobbly day. This mat's got a bit slippy, that's my excuse. Bend the left knee and come up to standing splits. So it's a bit like a forward bend. You join your ribs towards your thigh, your chest towards your thigh, your gaze is over your toes. That's it. Lovely. Keep the belly in. That might be where you want to be for today, and it's absolutely fine. Otherwise, you may put your hand on your brick or your floor. Start to externally rotate the right hip. Might be enough. It might be good to keep both hands on the mat. Or you may be able to take your right hand up and just help that hip to open a bit, okay? Inner foot faces the floor. And then if you can reach the right arm up, that's cool as well, that's good. It might be available to you to, you to look up. And this can be quite wobbly, can't it? I'm having a bit of a wobble this side. 
but that's okay. Some days are wobbly and that really doesn't matter. Let's take five breaths. Follow the breath, that always helps. Breathing in slowly, breathing out slowly. Breathing in soft and deep, breathing out soft and deep. The inhale and the exhale, just two more. You can do it. Breathing in and out, lift the leg higher. Breathing in and out, that's brilliant. Take your left foot down, sorry, your right foot down. We're gonna turn into forward bends and oh, what a relief, forward bends. Bend the knees, stay soft, lift your bum high. Fold your arms and just hang. Just feel your spine hanging stress-free from your pelvis. No effort. Your neck's long. You can relax. You can let go. Think about your spine as that beautiful waterfall just flowing over your legs. Letting go. Using your breath and gravity and the weight of your body to ease you out. You can rock from side to side. Keep your neck long. Just let go. But quite hard today. A few more breaths. Shut the eyes, maybe relax. Oh, I can always see all the dirt under the settee when I'm like this. <laughs> Probably best to shut the eyes. Take your hands down, come down. So we're going to come into a little squat here, if it's right for you, otherwise just come to seated. Take a little squat. Oh, that's it. <laughs> and then you can take your hands behind you and you can sit the bum back, so like this. Feet out. This, this next one's called Blossoming into Joy. And I thought we'd like the idea of blossoming into joy is, aren't the gardens looking lovely? And the flowers looking fab. That's another thing I've learned. To, uh, my garden's looking beautiful. <laughs> a lot of other things I've learned during the lockdown. <laughs> it's been a quite a nice pause in a way, hasn't it, the lockdown? But it's, it's actually been really hard for some people. So I do understand and easier for others. So I'm sorry if it's been hard for you. So sit nice and tall and take your right arm just underneath your right leg and sort of prop it against it and take a little look round to the left. Roll the shoulder back, take a few breaths. So we're coming into a twist again and then do a lovely open twist here. Breathe well. Can be a bit of a balance, so we go easy. Two. Breathing in and out. And how about wrapping that back arm round and seeing if you can tickle the left inner thigh. That's it. Some of you might be able to, oh, we'll do a bind here. Go away if you can't. You wrap the left arm round and the right hand grabs the left wrist and just pulls it back. And you pull it away a, a little bit towards the rubber. But don't worry if you're not there. Just wrapping around is really good. It's a lovely twist. So let's take a few breaths in our twist. So breathing in tall and breathing out, come a little bit deeper. As you breathe in, feel the spine lengthening all the way from the tailbone to the crown of the head. And breathing out a bit more twist. Couple more breaths. Draw the tummy in as you twist a little bit deeper. Feel your ribs, your chest, your shoulder all revolving to the left. Do it beautifully. Well done. It's quite, give the shoulders a little bit of a. Oh. Let's go the other way, shall we? <laughs> so just take the left arm and just make a little wedge there, and that help you to come round a bit as as you look behind you. And then you can open up your wings. So use the breath, breathe and sit tall and breathe out a little bit deeper there. So really get that length from the tailbone to the crown of the head. 
couple more breaths. And you might want to wrap the arm round. You might be able to give the left in a fire tip. I'm very lucky. I've got very long arms. I used to think they were like monkey arms, but they're very good for yoga, having long arms and big feet, which I have. <laughs> and you may be able to get your arm underneath. And that left hand will grab the right wrist and pull it round. But don't worry if, if it's not for you. It really doesn't matter. Everything we do, we're just in the direction. Five more breaths. And exhale a bit more. It's amazing how much further you can get round with the out breath. So breathing in from the tailbone up to the crown of the head. Breathing out. Belly in, feeling grounded. Keep rolling that right shoulder back. Well done. So just give the shoulders a little bit of a, it can be a bit achy, can't they? Feet together. Let's go into tortoise. Take the arms underneath and you may be able to hold your feet or not really. It doesn't matter. You may have to take them down the centre. You do what feels right for you here. and We take a little forward bend here and the crown of the head's working towards the inner feet, but obviously it doesn't have to be there. Breathe well, relax through your inner thighs. Imagine the inner thighs in and knees lengthening. Feel the lovely length in your low back. And feel that you can breathe into your low back. Relax your low back. As you breathe out, allow your shoulders to soften, your neck to lengthen. Breathe into your low back, relax your low back. Breathe out, allow your shoulders to soften, your neck to lengthen. Just closing inwards. This one's called tortoise. Closing inwards like a little tortoise here, going into hibernation. Softening the forehead. Softening the jaw, softening the gaze. Breathing into the low back. Breathing out as you relax the shoulders, you relax the forehead. And then you can find with each breath, you might be able to go forward a little bit more. Feel the earth supporting you and sink back into that support. So remembering that feeling grounded and following our breath is such a great foundation for our practice. Two more breaths. Breathing in and breathing out. And breathing in and breathing out. So if you've got the bind like this, so I'm going to take my hair out my eyes. If you've got the bind staying like that, that's fine. We can try a little balance. You can just rest if you want to. Come up, lift the toes up. And this is called flowering lotus. Flowering lotus, okay? Five breaths here. Sit lovely and tall. Open your petals. Spread your toes out. Spread your fingers out. Open your petals. Don't forget to smile. Helps to firm your tummy sometimes to keep your balance. A few more breaths. Follow the breath, that helps you to balance as well. Right. Sit a moment in Vadakanasana. Let's open the inner knees in the side. You have your butterfly wings here. Good. Feet together, knees together, and come into a little twist now. So take your knees over towards your left, right foot there. So walk the right foot in. You may want to straighten that underneath leg. You know anyway, don't you? Try not to sit on your foot. Sit beautifully tall. Take your fingers behind your right fingers and open up all the way through the left side of the body. And if you come back a bit, it gives you more room to come round. And you can take your hand and connect to the space of the heart there. Use it as a lever. Just give yourself a hug. 
whatever feels right for you. I think I'll connect to the heart here. So don't lean back on the right hand, just move the fingertips down. Nice deep breaths here. So really once again, as you breathe in, lengthen from the tailbone to the crown of the head. And as you breathe out, squeezing the belly in. And you can come out a little bit further with each breath. And maybe just tuck the chin in and just roll the head back towards the neck. Think about breathing in energy and getting rid of any energetic blockages, anything you don't need. Twists are very nourishing, very good for your liver, your digestive system. Now very gently, stay in a twist, but just take your gaze over your right shoulder for your left shoulder for a double twist. Good, and tuck the chin in maybe, stretch the side of your neck. And a good way to just, you know, counterpose this twist is to just take the, probably the best way just to take a look over to the left, that feels good. Well done, let's just take a little gentle stretch here again. A bit of a butterfly effect. Knees over to the right, coming straight to the other side. So remember, you can always straighten that right leg. Just check there's room to sit, walk the left foot in, press your hands against your shin so you can lengthen the spine and grow tall. Just the left fingertips behind you, reach back, and then we've got a twist, and you might connect to the heart chakra or give yourself a hug or anything else, any binds or anything you want to do. It's your practice, remember. So we're getting a lovely twist from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. And see if you can come around a bit more with each breath. Breathing in, grow tall, and breathing out, just root down. Breathing in energy, releasing any energetic blockages. So it's a lovely sort of massage, a ringing out of your digestive organs. Also get a nice stretch through my left hip here. So just watch your neck, you might tuck the chin in and just sort of gently roll your head round. Roll the left shoulder back. Well done, a couple more breaths. Breathing in slowly. Breathing out slowly, breathing in soft and deep, breathing out softly. Let's take a peek over to the right, double twist, tuck the chin. Let's take a little, so it's nice to ease it out, isn't it? I just really feel that work there. Stretch the legs up, say thank you legs. You breathe in and you reach. And again, you might even come back a bit if you're, you know, if the tummy's strong enough. But watch your back. Gosh, I wish I hadn't had so much breakfast. I had scrambled eggs and then I had a piece of cake, which was really bad. <laughs> So I've been doing more baking lately, have you? And then I, I eat it all. <laughs> so give yourself a lovely, lovely hug. I made a nice lemon drizzle cake. Um, there hasn't been any icing sugar around. So you could just sort of snuggle in like that or you could come in tomorrow before we bend. So once again, think about breathing into your back softening your low back, breathing out, relax and soften the shoulders, slowing down your breath, slowing down the thought waves of your mind, breathing into your back, softening your low back, breathing out, softening the shoulders, letting go. Relax into the breath. 
one coming up really slowly. Good, and we can take Shavasana. So make yourself comfortable, any props you need, any blankets, cushions, to get cosy. Take time to get cosy. This is the most important posture. And when you are there, take a few breaths. Just allow you to sink back into the earth, into the support of your mats. Letting go. Allow yourself to soften. Check you're not holding anywhere. That your jaw is relaxed, your eyes are soft. And then once again, bring to mind your resolve, your sankalpa, your intention. What you promised yourself that you could achieve or accomplish over the next six months, the next three months, the next month. When you've thought about it, imagine your intention as a little seed that you can plant inside you and watch it grow, maybe like a sunflower seed. And then you can watch your intention, your promise to yourself, grow, flower and blossom. Like that beautiful sunflower. It grows quite quickly, doesn't it, in the summer?
time to finish um, this practice of Shavasana. Gradually start to make some small movements. You can wiggle fingers and toes. You can just start to move your legs and arms. Maybe take your head from side to side or do a lovely full leg body stretch or hug your knees. I want to take a few deeper energizing breaths. Taking your time to roll onto your sides. And very slowly just start to blink your eyes open so you're aware of the light, shade, and you can put your hand down and feel the earth and help yourself up to see it so we can finish this practice. And when you're seated, closing the practice together, breathing in the prana mudra means energy. Take your hands to a prayer once again, crown, brow, throat, gather at the heart. Namaste. Om Shanti. Thank you for practicing with me. I hope you're enjoying the videos. If you are, please say something positive in the comments and subscribe to my channel. There's plenty more videos on my website if you've enjoyed these ones. Have a lovely week until we meet again.